Excuse me, mama. Hello. Come, come, come. If it's the same stuff like I ate last night, forget it. What is the problem? Forget with it. That? I don't wanna eat poison. Mama, poison? Forget it. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, kindly subscribe. Today I'll be showing you how we cook ugali, specifically soga mugali. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, so in my previous video, I showed you that we had gone to the posho mill. That's why we are putting our flour in the bucket. And then we cook our ugali. Yeah, that's how we do it in the village. Anyway, now the water has boiled. Most of you know that for ugali to be cooked... You have to first pre-boil water yeah and then when it's really hot you now put your flour and then you start stirring it i'll be taking you step by step process i don't want you to miss it <laughs> this traditional ugali is really sweet just so you know so we start with this this thing it's called buruet it's like a muiko, but you first start with it before using the muiko. We use it to break down the maize flour into small particles so that your ugali can become really soft. We call it buruet in Kipsigis. I don't know in Swahili or English, I really don't know. Anyway, so as I told you, it's the traditional law of making sogamugali. So you use this buruet to break down these lumps and then your ugali comes out really soft guys how do i explain this why don't you guys just come i cook for you so that you can understand exactly what i mean this ugali is so perfect for mursik yeah for maziwalala for for soa milk this ugali is amazing there's no words that can perfectly explain this so why don't you just try it and then you tell me how it's how it is and those who have tried you can also tell us comment so that people can know that i'm not exaggerating see it's true <laughs> uh, okay so as you can see you continue stirring your flour using the burouet continue stirring it and adding some flour yeah and you, your fire should you should have a bigger fire because yeah for ugali to cook well you need a lot of uh, heat so yeah you use a lot of uh, firewood or for for this case we were using maize cobs dried maize cobs they work the same as uh, firewood today i'm trying to avoid using music because my previous video the music was too loud. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. So I'm just avoiding to use background music. Yeah, let me talk. Some of you said I should have talked. So <laughs> allow me to talk. Even though everything here is self-explanatory. Yeah, you continue stirring. Continue to stir. <laughs> you have to make sure to stir properly. To stir correctly, yeah, so that to avoid uh, a situation where you find lumps of flour that have not been uh, uh, crushed. That's why we use this burouette. It makes sure all those lumps are uh, are eliminated. So you have to take your time. Make sure to crush all the flour all the lumps make sure to crush all of them so you have to make sure your ugali is soft smooth so now the it has started to become heavier so now you change it to a muiko yeah this cooking stick uh, by the way we don't wash these things i don't know maybe it's the ugali is sweeter that way <laughs> yeah we don't always wash it after after finishing with it, even with the muiko, we just hang it there. The traditional way, you can never understand. Unless <laughs> you start doing it. Maybe the dust makes the ugali even, even sweeter. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah. 
our new viewers don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell i bring amazing content weekly and uh to my subscribers i love you guys <laughs> yeah and i'm not shy i'm just happy our girl is almost there <laughs> amazing look at it it's already pretty there's no too much flour can you now see what i meant our girl is coming out just perfect Our girl is now ready. Now all we have to do is uh, serve it. But first, you just leave it in the fire to just cook on its own for like five minutes, and then you serve it. So we are serving it into our hot pots to preserve the heat as we wait for our mboga to be ready. Just amazing amazing i mean look at the crust <laughs> yeah in our language we call it morte it came out really nice <laughs> yeah it's sometimes it's really hard to get such a perfect crust yeah but for this the crust is perfect you will see as the video ends we will be eating it <laughs> because it's really good very nice, very nice. Here, I come a challenge. You don't do a Jamie as a funny challenge and she the Afikisha 10,000 likes. Nam to me a 5,000 Kenya man immediately. Just screenshot now. Only to me, just that. Kwani I'm Jew jokes. <laughs> don't try that here. <laughs> Hi, yeah. So, our girl is ready now. We're about to eat. So I suggest you go and wash your hands. I want you to see there is nothing like flour. The, the ugali was perfectly cooked. Honestly, you can actually see it for yourself, right? You also have to make sure that your ugali looks presentable when you serve. So after you serve it, you make sure to make it look nice. Yeah, like an African traditional wife. Yeah, like a wife material. <laughs> make it look nice. And then you cover it and take and serve it to your husband, your kids, your whoever's. You know, now look at that sufuria. That's our food, our ugali served, ready. Yeah, African women, we touch uh, hot sufurias, we don't even get burned. Our hands are hard. Now look at us. This is my cousin. So what she's eating is the crust. Yeah, our ugali is perfect. Those are our mwikos there. We don't wash them. We just hang them there. <laughs> anyway, so we are serving it with skuma wiki and uh, pumpkin soup. What's happening in this country? Are the butchers on strike? I don't see no liver in my stuff. I don't see no cow tail, no stockfish, no cow head. What's going on? My Here we rarely even miss meat. <laughs> the skuma wiki is fresh. Yeah, with cream and uh, now our pumpkin soup. It's so delicious. I don't know how she made it. But anyway, we serve it with skuma wiki and ugali. Really delicious. <laughs> Perfect combination. You don't need meat when you have this. This is our supper for today. Kales, pumpkin soup and uh, sogam ugali with some mursik. So this is our mursik. 
the black black things you see it's called wasek for putting in mursik anyway guys thank you for watching see you next week <laughs>